You good? Stop. Nice. Nice. That was good. Ted, this is Alex. Yeah. Christmas is almost here. I don't even know. It, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's almost here. It's like right around the corner. Yeah. Like, um, like this is the corner. This is Christmas. That's Christmas. What we thought we would do is just more advice on Christmas parties and stuff. We thought we would discuss how to survive a Christmas party when you're being an introvert slash a socially awkward person because we all are. So we've come up with a couple of tips. Just the usual few, things. The usual you know. five steps. To this is this is what I or we at least do. Yeah. Um, the first thing that I've come up with or we've come up with in regard to when you get hungry. Yeah. Now there's a certain strategy you got to go about when you're trying to get food at like a public Christmas party or something. Right. Because you go down there and you, you're you gonna have to talk to somebody. Guys, at least one. Whether it's like Aunt Jane or like Uncle Tommy who hasn't seen you in like months or something, they're gonna be like, hey, you know. You go so much. How school? Exactly. Let me squeeze your cheeks, you know. All that kind of stuff. The first thing I'll come up with is um, go buy yourself a shirt that says don't talk to me yeah. <laughs> or like just don't talk to me at all. Just wear that shirt and I think you might be golden. Yeah. Um, You'll be good. To go get your, go to get your food and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. So. Is this Alex I see behind this wall of like air and stuff and... Oh, you're getting really tall lately. Your mother is just showing me all the... Ah! possible idea that you'd want to encounter slash invest in invest in take classes about being a ninja no one minute here and then the next minute you know smoke but look, look at that he just he, he's gone and then boom i'm here again like, what, what the heck is going on I, I left that way and it came up this way I don't it just makes no sense you just want to find a way where you can dodge every single person like you're sitting there at the buffet and you're like scooping your food on your plate you sense Someone behind you, and you can do something about it. Smoke bombs will work. Boom, you're done. It can okay. help you in other like, in, in, in in later life as well. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, Alex, you're getting so tall and so muscular. Wow. This could use. The next thing that you could do, being an introvert at a Christmas party or at a social event where you're with family and everyone's gonna try and talk to you, is don't go. There's always an option not to go. Second cousins, nephews, twice removed dog sides of my dad's side of the family's fish died. Right. I'm totally distraught and I can't even right I can't. now. Where's Jordan been these days? Like, uh, I've never seen know. him he's in any of these. just doesn't come around to the bodies. parties. Yeah, I don't like, know what he's, he's doing. Just, I don't care, I don't care. You know what? Because I am 39 and 1 right now. We're the second round. If he would come now every once in a while, I'd be able to give him his presents. Exactly. Why? I'm going to send it to him in the mail. No! No! They're going towards banana. They're going towards banana. Why is no Winston B going towards banana? I got him another one of these raccoon skins. You know what? I never get any thank you calls from him as well. Like, I just... I was gonna just keep going with it. <laughs> so a good fallback option um, is always to just, whoever's house it may be, locate the nearest bathroom, lock yourself in it, and if anyone comes, just say, food is getting to me or something like that. Alex, oh my gosh, look at these legs. Look at how tall you are getting. Just look at how much they propel you towards the sky until you're trapped. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I really, really have to pee right now. Oh, that's now. fine, I'm gonna be waiting here. Aunt Margaret, what is up? Some of you might, I mean, I know I am, because I kind of go to college with one of them, but you might be really close with some of your relatives. You can have that, like, that go-to person with the phrase. That phrase that'll get you out of the conversation, that'll get you where you need to go, yeah. get you out of any confrontation or any conversation that you ever had. You got the go-to phrase, and you're either like that. Boom, done. Boom, swap it. Made my pop, boom, bat. Hey, Uncle Jerry. Okay, you know what? You know what? She has a boyfriend, all right? She has a boyfriend. Step off, Jimmy, or whatever your name is. Gerald, George. So we're hoping that some of these things will help you get out of these awkward conversations and awkward situations and all of those words 
that mean Later bad days. times. <laughs> On that note, again, we must say Merry Christmas, Happy Marahana Kwanzaa, and, and thank, thanks, thanks, I can't talk. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side. And... Dude, every video, I've slipped on it. <laughs> <laughs>